Poor guy outdoor cooking. I'm outdoors and I'm cooking. All right. So you already see the thumbnail. I, I don't know. I'm making this meat hot sauce. Okay. Come on over here. I've got a third cup of pepper, uh, green bell pepper, and an onion in here. And I'm just getting these cooked up a little bit. So this video is about this meat hot sauce, ground beef, for better words, which um, I got uh, this recipe from my mother in Rochester, New York. Now, there was a restaurant there in Seabreeze, New York, which is just right between Lake Ontario and Irondequoit Bay. A uh, little restaurant here, there uh, developed this hot sauce, this meat hot sauce. And it's, it's similar to uh, what they call, I guess, Cincinnati chili, although I've never had it, so I don't know. So uh, there is a third cup of uh, green bell pepper and a third cup of onion. And underneath here, I've already went ahead and ground, uh, did, cooked up some ground beef, 80-20. That's a pound of it. Uh, so the thumbnail, I think right now, even though you know it and I don't, I'm going to go ahead and just share the recipe because to take a thumbnail of a hot sauce, I don't know, it's just not really going to work. So, uh, But here's the recipe, uh, if I can remember correctly. So you got your, your pound of ground beef, 80-20. I drained off some of the excess fat off that. There's your onion and your pepper. These are teaspoons right here, a teaspoon of onion salt, a teaspoon of garlic salt, a teaspoon of chili powder. That's 15 ounces of tomato sauce, and these are tablespoons, which gives it a unique flavor, allspice, paprika, red pepper flakes, Worcestershire sauce. And over here is uh, one quart of, oh, hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. One quart of warm water, although by the time this is done, it probably won't be warm. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I think these onions and peppers are good for now. I'm going to go ahead and add my tomato sauce. 15 ounces. And we're doing this all in this nice little Dutch oven that I have. Let's get that kind of incorporated in there. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea, honey. Thank you. I got Don recording me as always. And now I'm going to start with the dry ingredients. Let me take off these clumsy gloves for now. Okay. <clears throat> Here's our onion salt. Whoop. Our garlic salt. And our chili powder. Those are all teaspoons. Get that mixed in there a little bit. So this hot sauce, right? It's something that I grew up with. Um, in Seabreeze, New York, or Rondequoit, New York. Now, <clears throat> if the Root Boy's watching, this is a similar meat hot sauce that we would use, or Nick Tahoe's would use on a garbage plate. Now, <clears throat> let's go with the allspice. This is a tablespoon. The paprika. Red pepper flakes, these are all tablespoons and a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And that's how you say it, Worcestershire. It's not that difficult. Uh, so there's a, there's a restaurant called Nick Tahoe's in Rochester, New York, that has a garbage plate. Now, I, I did a video on this, but I don't think I really went into detail on how I actually prepared this meat hot sauce that goes on top of it. And by the way, we're having garbage plates for supper. So if you care to see what a garbage plate is and you don't know, feel free to watch that video. And then, like I said, sail over at the Root Boy Cooks. He has a video on a garbage plate too. So you might want to go and give those, a, give those a look if you haven't seen them. Now, I thought it would be interesting to share this recipe because this is a regional thing. It, it's, it's not too familiar across the country. So my friends up in the Pacific Northwest and California and Texas and Arkansas, you all know who I'm talking about, may not be familiar with this. Um, 
And then we have folks in Iowa that watch us and Colorado. Yeah, this is an interesting. Now, you can do whatever you want with this hot sauce. And let's get our let's get our water. You can do anything you want with this hot sauce. A lot of people will put this on hamburgers, hot dogs, uh, whatever you want. Go good on French fries, baked potato. It's really delicious. It's not over the top hot, but it has a good kick to it. Now look at it's really that simple. So now what we have to do, and you're thinking, wow, look at that poor guy. That's crazy. That's so runny. You're going to simmer this for at least two hours. And I'm going to come back, and I'll come back in an hour, and I'll show you. Um, it'll, it'll cook down, obviously. Um, boy, I'll tell you, there's some variations to this meat sauce, depending on who you talk to in, in Rochester, New York, and that surrounding area. Um, some uh, use cinnamon in it. This one calls for allspice, and we've used this, and we've used this a lot. The allspice adds a really good, unique flavor to this. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really that simple. We're going to let it saute for a couple of hours. And uh, the longer you let it, well, not saute. Why do I say saute? Simmer. simmer. Yeah, we're going to let it simmer uh, for a couple of hours. And uh, it'll thicken up, and it will. It is so good. Everybody in the family just loves it. And we're going to have this for dinner. We're going to make our own garbage plates, our version of them, for supper. Again, if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in something like that, feel free to check through one of Poor Guy's videos and look up Garbage Plate, Rochester Garbage Plate. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I got a hold of my mom today because uh, this recipe actually came out of uh, the newspaper there in Rochester. And I was trying to figure out how old the recipe was and, it's uh it's a pretty interesting story behind it but yeah all right well when you come back we'll go we'll check it at the hour mark and and see see how we're looking and progress to it like i said I'll let it simmer for two hours and we'll be enjoying this and uh give it a try if it's something you're interested in why not peace here we go look at our hot sauce this is about after an hour yeah boy it's coming along nicely. It smells divine. Like I said, let it simmer for bare minimum two hours. It's been just over an hour. And it's smelling so tasty. Okay. We'll come back when this is all done. I'll let you know how long we let it simmer. And uh, I don't know. I'll just taste a mouthful of it because I love it so much. And I love all of you. Peace out, brothers and sisters. It's done. The hot sauce is done. Take a look. As, a, as promised, it thickened up quite well. Yeah, it gets brown. It's yummy. It smells so good. Um, so, like I said, it goes good on any kind of meat you want. Try it on baked potatoes, french fries, whatever. Let me just give it a taste. It's going to be pretty hot. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. <clears throat> it's hot sauce, so it has a kick. Oh, I just love it. It's such a good flavor. Um, that allspice, I'll tell you, it really stands out. It's different, completely different. Okay, so I couldn't get a good thumbnail. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a pot of goo, <laughs> like Don said, and she's right. Um, so I think I'm just going to share the actual clip from the newspaper, the recipe I have that I go off of. That's going to be a thumbnail, as you can tell by now. Uh, yeah, that's it. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and cook up some smash burgers tonight, and a little macaroni salad, some fried potatoes, and we're going to enjoy this. We, we just love it. So meat hot sauce, it's worth a try if you haven't ever heard of it. Um, Don and Bob's is the name of the restaurant in Seabreeze, New York. So shout out to all my friends, especially my mother, family up there in Seabreeze, around the Rochester area. Like, comment, subscribe. Be awesome. All right. Peace out.